Many thanks to Marachi Super Falcons head coach Thomas Denneby hopes one of his strikers Francisca Odega and Aziza Toshola can be crowned the African Women's Player of the Year after making the final three selection for the 2018 CAF Award. The award is to celebrate top performers on the continent in the Kalandi year, with this year's ceremony scheduled for January the 8th in Dakar, Senegal. Coach Denneby admits both players contributed immensely towards retaining the African women's title in Ghana and says any of the duo is good enough to win the award ahead of South Africa's Tembi Gatlana. In the English Premier League, reigning EPL champions Manchester City have finally halted the 20-game unbeaten a run of the title contenders Liverpool at the 80 hat thanks to a 2-1 victory. With Sergio Aguero, the Argentinian, drew first blood on the 40th minute and has now scored in all seven of his home appearances against the Merseyside Giants. The Reds, however, had to wait until the 64th minute of the first half as Andrew Robertson got in at the back post to volley Trent Alexander-Arnold's diagonal ball across goal for Roberto Firmino to nod in. Well, the champions responded as Leron Leroy Sané drilled in a low goal from the left and his pinpoint effort in to the post. Well, in tennis, Roger Federer, Switzerland have reached the Hopman Cup final for a second consecutive year, despite losing 2-1 to one to Greece in their final round robin tie earlier today. Well, their place in the final was confirmed when Federer beat exciting youngster Stefanos Tsitsipas 7-6, 7-6 in the tie's opening match. And the 20-time Grand Slam champion overcame a scare in the first set tie break to come through in 93 minutes and secure the win needed to qualify for the final. Two more for Greece. And that's Rap and Sports News. I'm Aya Tunde. By looking at the News at 10, continue shortly. U.S. top Democrat Nancy Pelosi has been elected again as Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives. The 78-year-old reclaimed the gavel after the most diverse class of House lawmakers was sworn in and took control of the lower chamber. A victory came as the government remained partially shut down over the president's border wall. She and her fellow House Democrats have vowed to pass the spending bills to end the shutdown, but have insisted the bills will not include any funding for President Donald Trump's border wall with Mexico. Working together, we'll, we will redeem the promise of the American dream for every family, advancing progress for every community. We must be pioneers of the future. This Congress must accelerate a future that advances America's preeminence in the world and opens up opportunities for all. Building an economy that gives all Americans the tools they need to succeed in the 21st century. Public education, workforce development, good paying jobs, and secure pensions. We have heard from too many families who wonder in this time of innovation and globalization if they have a place in the economy of the future. We must remove all doubt that they do and say to them individually, we will have an economy that works for you. South Korea has announced the North Korean ambassador to Italy has disappeared. Jo Song-gil, the acting ambassador to Rome, is the son and son-in-law of high-ranking North Korean officials. South Korea's spy agency believes he's seeking asylum in Rome. The last time a senior North Korean official defected was the deputy ambassador to London. The Italian foreign ministry says it has no record of an asylum request made by Jo, but a South Korean newspaper reports he's in a safe place with his family. High-profile defections by one of North Korea's elite are rare, and would be a huge embarrassment for leader Kim Jong-un. State media has often insisted that any defections by diplomats are part of a plot by South Korea or the United States to undermine the government. And the main news again. 
The Nigerian Air Force today said it lost five of its men in a counterinsurgency operation against Boko Haram in terrorists in Borno State after their helicopter crashed. Also today, Zamfara State Governor Abdul Aziz Yari met with President Muhammadu Buhari over rising security tension in his state. The governor said he would accept all suggestions to end the crisis. And Nancy Pelosi today won the U.S. Speaker race for a second time as Democrats vow to pass bills to end government shutdown as they take control of the House. That's News at 10 tonight. Thank you for watching. I am Amarachi Ubani. Good night.